And that's the basic idea of where we're headed. This can be a little advanced, but once you see it in person, it's so obvious. You'll be like, oh my gosh, how did I not see that at first? How does anyone not realize this? If you have a brain, you're of course gonna say this is true, but we're gonna get... Anyways, welcome to the first day of Statistics for Engineers. Now, throughout this course, we're gonna be developing a lot of mathematical skills, but we're also gonna be very focused on real-world applications. All right, you guys, one more time. This is gonna give us the beam solid angle of our antenna. From there, you do some silly stuff, yada, yada, yada. Do a U sub, you get here, of course. And then we have to perform an integral that's a little trickier than integrals we've seen so far. Do you guys see why? It's a little subtle, but it's there. This integral is located on the back side of the lookup table, exactly. Difficulty level 632, am I right? And we just gotta write this out and we'll be good. How about we use actual integration and residues for once instead of a lookup table? Hey, we found the virgin already. That was pretty quick. Where does that equation even come from, though? Oh, that comes from page 286. No, like, where is it derived from? From this textbook. No, I mean, like, mathematically. Where does it come from? I don't know, it's made of paper, so I guess trees? No, that's not what I'm asking. Is anyone else confused by Andrew's question? Ah, oh, everybody, everybody, look at that. Yeah, you're asking nonsense, Andrew. And remember, for your lab reports, you guys need to be thinking about sources of error. Excuse me, Dr. Chetting, what exactly do you mean by sources of error? Like, why would your experimental result not perfectly match the theoretical one? Oh, so you mean like my derivation was wrong, like choosing epsilon to be less than zero at the start of an epsilon delta proof? I think I know what you are getting at. No, like real world things outside of your calculations, that could cause error. Oh, is this like an engineering joke? I'm too sophisticated to understand how <laughs> you guys are so silly. <laughs> What's going on, smart people? Yes, exactly, Andrew. It's, it's so weird. I have no idea what we are doing in lab. At least I have a lab partner that does everything for me. And remember, you guys, the lab final will be worth 420 points. That accounts for 69% of your final grade. And that will be done individually. No lab partners for that one. Is it too late to still drop this course? Okay, last time we proved the fundamental theorem of engineering and can now use the powerful fact that sine of x equals x. Professor, you probably meant to say it approximately equals 2. And only for small angles. And by small I mean x being equal to 0. I'm pretty certain that I expressed my doubts about the validity of this theorem already last time around. Ah, but in this class, approximately is the same as equals. Well, approximately. Not really convincing, not gonna lie. Oh no, I can prove this. Were you sleeping again last class? Okay, here, here. What is sine of zero? Yes, I know that it's going to be equal to zero. This is what I just said. Zero, exactly. It's still not the same, professor. Okay, now take out your calculator and plug in sine of 0. 0.00000001. First things first, I don't even have a calculator at hand right Never mind. I know it's going to spit out the same number, but you put in so many decimal places, for sure a calculator doesn't have that high of a precision in the normal case. And even if it would have this high of a precision, this does not count as a valid proof. Actually, that's what we call proof by shut the hell up. Last class, we derived a lot of formulas and relationships between different parameters. Today we're going to focus on implementing that into Excel. Alright, you guys just have to get used to that, right? Spreadsheets are an engineer's best friend. Excuse me, Mr. Dotson. Yes, Zach. By Excel, you probably meant to say LaTeX, right? This is the only kind of editor I use. Wow, the least attractive person in this room is asking the least intelligent question. Gosh, I literally hate engineering. This is the worst shit ever. I 
I really hate the guts of this guy. He's even worse than fucking Dr. Chaddington here. Engineering is just not my type of mathematics. I'm a pure mathematician at heart. I really love this epsilon delta stuff and analytic number theory, etc. And if you are like me and you love doing puzzles, pure mathematics, etc., then print.org might be the website for you. This video has been sponsored by print.org. 2020 is right around the corner and you are still thinking about what your new year's resolutions could be? No longer worry, I've got something for you. Why not strive for becoming the best possible and most thoughtful self? With Brilliant you will unravel concepts bit by bit and build up to an interesting conclusion and discover deep truths in unexpected places. No matter what you are interested in, be it mathematics, physics or computer sciences, Brilliant helps you elevate yourself to new heights by providing you with the best possible interactive learning experience. If this sounds like it's something you might enjoy, make sure to use the link at the top of the description to try out Brilliant for completely free. Also, the first 200 people to use the link get 20% off an annual premium subscription. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to check out Zach's version on Major Prep's channel. It was so much fun collaborating with him and I hope I can do so again in the near future. Subscribe to him, subscribe to this channel if you did enjoy the video and up until next video, have flamble day and also have a great start into the new year. Ciao.